slight variation on the successful cat ruby I'm using a couple of different materials that most people are used to the hook is a Hanak 230BL on a 10 and for the body I'm using fluorescent white UTC I'm taking a layer down back up trim away a tag and for the tail I've got spring water blue marabou it's a small pinch tear that away now you want just that fluffy bit as your edge finger and thumb tear that away couple little stray bits there just cut off the length you want and to keep everything nice and neat just take the flue away from the marabou fibers just tighten that down on top of the shank just neaten that tail up a bit now for the body i've got chewing gum worm from FNF uh, Kevin Port is very kindly sent this down and this is dyed hulk as you can see it's a very vibrant green take a small section it's got a bit of stretch to it as you would with most body materials just trim away a small section to catch in that's it on the side and tidy everything up. Just turn straight over the base of the tail. A couple of turns to create your body. Bring your thread over the top a couple of times. To secure on it, trim away what you don't need, just tidy that up. Same again for the wing with the spring water blue, slightly larger pinch this time, just tear that away. Again, finger and thumb, tear that away. Just marry your wing up lengthwise with your tail. You can overshoot it a bit, it's always easier to tidy it up. Just take the flue away from the ends and wax on the thread. Keep everything nice and tight. Tidy all that up nice and even. Give me a finger and thumb now. It's probably just a bit wrong in places. Just dampen that a little bit. There we go. Now, for the little hot spot on top of the wing, I've got four strands of glow bike number five. Like that. Catch them in slightly longer than the wing, it'd be a lot easier to tidy it up. Trim away all that waste. Bring everything to the front. Just come in with your whip finish. Tidy that up. And for the eyes, I've got some. Six mil yellow plasters up just from a booby block. I've cut and shaped these. The link should appear 
up here somewhere. I'll add that. So what you want to do is come in with fluorescent fire orange. Catch that on. Just keep everything nice and tight. Make a single turn around in the middle of your eyes. So we'll be able to just see that there under the fly. Wind everything on, keep them on top, three through the middle, just finger and thumb, keeping your wing square and your eyes 90 degrees, another one through the middle, tighten everything up, one from the middle through to the back, one from the front through the middle. Be nice and neat. Thread to the front, come in with your whip finish, tighten that up. You want to take your hot spot tag of number five. You can cut it as long as short as you want. I like to go about well, halfway up the wing. Come in with the velcro on the stick. Didn't take much brushing just to bring it out. You should be able to see on top of the fly there. Just tie that up, brush it out. Spin your fly over. Just pull the eyes down a bit. Bring in some resin just to secure it. Give that a little bit of a wiggle. Quick zap with a pen. And that's your eyes secure. Nice little variation. Caught a few fish on it. Hope you like it. Great in a 12 as well. I'd probably scale down the eyes a little bit. Thank you to all who've subscribed again. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope the videos are helping. Please let me know if there's any requests of flies you'd like to see. Thanks very much.